incident I'd like to address. So what we all became aware of on Saturday was that there was a TTT TTPS incident in Mova that led to the death of three of our citizens. Shortly thereafter, we had the commissioner of police come out and say that there will be a thorough police investigation. I was observing, I was in conversation with the commissioner earlier on Sunday morning with respect to the incident that first came to my attention as Minister of National Security on Saturday evening. Shortly thereafter, we had the PCA, the Police Complaints Authority, which is a statutory body charged with the responsibility of dealing with complaints with respect to the police service, come out and say that they were launching their own investigation with respect to this incident where three persons lost their lives. I, have take, I then spoke to the Commissioner of Police who said that the Director of the PCA, Mr. West, had been in contact with him and that the police would be fully complying with any requests as part of that investigative process by the PCA. I have today taken the precaution, as is my nature, to call the Director of the PCA myself just so that I would be able to give the assurance to our citizens and to the public that the Police Complaints Authority has in fact launched an investigation. I have spoken to Mr. West and he has given me that assurance. So the first issue that I'd like to address is that we are aware that there was this incident in Mova where three persons lost their lives at the hands of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. We do not have all of the facts. We've seen what is circulating, meaning the video and the two bodies that are charged with the responsibility invest to investigate incidents such as this, the police service as well as the police complaints authority, which is an independent body, have commenced investigations. And I asked both of them to do so thoroughly. such as this, the police service as well as the police complaints authority, which is an independent body, have commenced investigations and have asked both of them to do so thoroughly. Okay, we are just watching Minister of National Security there, Stuart Young. We are experiencing a little bit of technical difficulties. Just to recap a little bit of what we just heard, he just said that the, he just confirmed that the Police Complaints Authority launched an investigation into the incident on the weekend where three persons lost their lives. He said that they did not have all the facts and that the TTPS and the PC are investigating. Now, just to give you a little bit of an idea what has been happening this morning, the Beetham Highway, Sealots, Laventil and Mover residents, their voice were voicing anger over the killing of three men from Mover on Saturday. And on your screen, are, we are scenes, we are bringing up some scenes now of the eastbound lane of the highway this morning. We understand senior police officers along with riot police, amalgamated security and ambulances are all at the scene at Sealots. Now the protests this morning are a spillover from yesterday when MOFA residents came out onto the streets vociferously displaying their anger over the incident. Mm -hmm. Right, and you just saw some residents of Beetham there interacting with the police during this morning's protests. We had protests in Laventil, we had protests in Coconut Drive, Mova, Mova Junction, and all of this um, is a spillover from yesterday's protest. Um, some other news that is trending right now, the Ministry of, Na of Health has announced that there are four new COVID cases. Um, one, the 
Ministry of Health says the four additional returning nationals have attested positive for COVID-19. Three of those four are recently deported nationals from the United States, while one is a returning student. So that's another story that is trending right now. Of course, the main story today is those are those, is those protests in Mova and environs. And we take you back now to the Minister of National Security. And seeing seeing what the people have to offer, seeing what our law-abiding citizens in East Port of Spain, and I now understand some of it has spread to Belmont, seeing that there's positive, seeing that there's progress that can be made, hoping to work with these communities, continue working with them. But what we've woken up to this morning is very, very disturbing, and I've come to address that here today. There are a number of incidents that have been taking place from about eight o'clock this morning, on the east of Port of Spain, in certain areas, Pessoa Street, at the Abattoir Road, Beetham, other areas up in John John, etc. And this is not what we expect of our law abiding citizens. I understand persons being emotional, etc. But what is very disturbing is that these obviously orchestrated attempts that are now spreading are just that. The information that has come to hand is that these are being orchestrated. Persons on the ground have personally contacted me to say money is being paid to persons to go out and to create disturbance. This is not what we expect of our citizens in Trinidad and Tobago. A very disturbing part of what I see and what you all are all seeing as going on is also that persons are actually using the opportunity to shoot at our law enforcement officers. There have been incidents of sporadic shooting at our Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Early this morning, I was in contact with the Commissioner of Police, and still am, as well as the Chief of the Defence Staff, the Director of our Intelligence Services, getting briefed. The Defence Force are going to provide full support to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. And we are going to protect all of our law-abiding citizens, regardless of where you are. I am denouncing and condemning the criminal elements who are using the opportunity. And one asks the question, who is it that is stirring up the criminal elements to use this opportunity as well? That is one of the parts that disturbs me. I understand peaceful protests. I understand people being emotionally upset about the incident that may have taken place on Saturday. But it has become very obvious very quickly as a result of human intelligence provided and other means of intelligence that this, many of these incidents in particular, the shooting in particular, some of the protests that are not peaceful are being stirred by the criminal elements in our society. And one is asking the question now, and I've asked the question and asked for reports on who is behind the stirring up of the criminal elements. When we're getting reports from the ground of people being paid to go and dis create disturbance, who is it that are paying people? Who is it that stands to gain by disrupting the peace and quiet of our city of Port of Spain? And the message is that it will not be tolerated. So I'm asking all of our law-abiding citizens, please, there are ways that we can voice our concerns. And I respect that. We in the government respect that. And we welcome it, those who want the opportunity to peacefully voice their concerns. But once persons step over the line, do not be used by the criminal elements. And the criminal elements in our society, as I repeat, and I've said it here at this table before, are not always those who we call gang members. So that is a serious concern. It is something that national security is addressing. The police service, the defense force or intelligence services have also been in contact with the chief fire officer as the fire services also provide assistance. I've been in contact this morning as well with the mayor of Port of Spain because now they have workers who understandably are concerned about going to the scenes to remove debris. But what we're seeing come together very, very quickly, only in the space of a few hours, a very, very carefully orchestrated, pre-planned disturbances. And I'm now being told that that may have spread to Kokorita as well. Our intelligence services are picking up these things. The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has the support of the Defense Force. 
and they will not hesitate to do that all that is in their power to continue to protect and serve and keep the peace in Trinidad and Tobago. And I'm appealing as a citizen, as a law-abiding citizen, as one who cares about the country, cares about the city of Port of Spain and the rest of Trinidad and Tobago, please, our law-abiding citizens, do not allow yourselves to be used by those who have criminal intent in Trinidad and Tobago to disrupt and to disturb the peace. And I'm also giving the assurance that our law enforcement officers with the support of the Defense Force and our intelligence services will do all that is necessary to ensure that the law-abiding citizens in Trinidad and Tobago are protected and that we maintain the peace and security and safety. So please, do not allow yourselves to be encouraged. Do not participate in the illegal activity. There are ways and means to get your messaging across. Your messaging, even before today, was well received and was being pursued. And that is why addressing the first issue, I took my time to inform you that there are two current active investigations and I've asked for them to be thorough investigations. One by the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service and one by the independent statutory body, the Police Complaints Authority, into the incident that took place in Mova that led to the loss of three lives by the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service on Saturday, the 27th of June. So please, citizens, be assured that we are going to do all that is necessary to continue to maintain the peace. We are very aware that the criminal elements are involved in these disturbances. And we also have the intelligence that there may be persons associating with the criminal elements to disturb the peace and tranquility of Port of Spain. Thank you all very much. I'll take a few questions. Good morning, Good morning there. Okay. Um, there was a report of a big incident um, where a bullet struck, or a contractor struck the observer to the general, and the people are here in the country. Correct. So what we've had this morning is that it appears as though a projectile appearing to be a bullet from what we've seen hit, I believe, the third floor of one of the windows at the Ministry of the Attorney General and Legal Affairs. So it's the third floor. Unfortunately, this is not surprising. We have had incidents like this throughout. Um, the, you all would recall there was the NP offices down in Beetham not too long ago had the same type of incident. Recently, we also had down in Glencoe, the Prime Minister's constituency office had had an incident a few months ago, and we have had these incidents, in fact. They're, they're not that infrequent because indiscriminate shooting I always say when persons shoot bullets up in the air, when you shoot a firearm up in the air, the bullet has to come down. All right, so this is something that is not so unusual, but of course is going to be investigated. At this stage, as I believe there's no cause for concern, but we are taking all of the necessary precautions, and we're asking persons just to be careful. This is not the first time I've had reports, similar reports in Ministry of Education. Those are tall buildings. We don't have that many tall buildings in Port of Spain, and very often this happens. So what, what I can say is that we're working assiduously to ensure the safety of persons in and out of Port of Spain. There is right now a measure of inconvenience. In fact, some of my, my colleagues who are trying to make their way in Port of Spain, I told them, listen, right now, there are certain incidents taking place. You all would have seen the videos. The police have had to block both lanes, the western lane and the eastern lane, or rather <clears throat> the northern lane and the southern lane of the Beetham. Um, going in and out of Port of Spain is cleared up. We also had incidents at sea lots. We had it on the eastern main road by the abattoir, etc. So the police are going to do everything that is necessary to ensure that persons can continue going about their business safely. And you can rest assured of that. The Defence Force are now on the ground providing them with support. I've asked for certain strategic points for us to have some static personnel there to ensure that as well. I'm just asking persons at this time to just be very careful, to be vigilant, don't take unnecessary risks. This is being dealt with and there is absolutely no need for any, any panic and everyone just remain calm. 
If persons have information, please provide us with the information. I was able to confirm that I was that Abu Bakr was detained and I am assuming that he will go through the normal police process. stage thankfully no I don't have any such information I am trusting and hoping and it remains that way and I'll use that opportunity Mr. Neves to just call on persons just be careful when persons go with this indiscriminate type of shooting one it again re-emphasizes the illegal firearms that we're fighting on the street so they all right and I just besiege So we are listening. We were just listening to Minister of National Security there, Stuart Young, reassuring once again that the Police Complaints Authority and the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service have both launched investigations into the incident on Saturday, where three persons were allegedly killed by police. He also said that this is. This is not what um, the reaction to the this killing was not what he was expecting of law-abiding citizens. Now we go back to Minister of National Security, Stuart Young. Is the family members protesting? But as I say, I can understand the emotion in a. Com Okay, good. Okay, point taken. Anyone else? understand the law if there's something further to be investigated they may send it to the commission of police or if they have recommendations based on the evidence that they've gathered they would send it to the director of public prosecutions for him then to either pursue further investigation through the police or to lay charges this is a phenomenon that we see all over the world eh? whenever incidents happen you always have persons saying they don't express any faith in the thoroughness of the investigation etc what I can say is I've spoken to the two persons in charge. I have faith in them, and I, I believe that they will do all that they can to make sure they're thorough investigations. I can't give an assurance. Minister of National Security, Stuart Young, there taking some questions from reporters during a Ministry of National Security press conference this morning to apprise us of some issues of national security. Um, he touched mainly on the protests that have been happening this morning in several parts of East Port of Spain, Beetham, Mova, and environs. Um, he alluded to 
orchestrated events now spreading to even as far as Corkerit. And he said that there are reports that money is being paid to persons to go out and create disturbance. And he said some people are using the opportunity to shoot at police. Um, he also confirmed a report of a projectile um, breaching the window of the Ministry of the Attorney General and Legal Affairs. Um, and he warned about the indiscriminate shooting. He said, but he also said that they are, they are working assiduously to ensure the safe entry and exit into and out of the city. And he urged um, members of the public not to, there's no need to panic and to remain calm. No. He also noted that the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service has the full support of the Defense Force and that they will do all that they can to maintain peace. I said they're going to do all that is necessary to maintain peace. I saw that already. And what you're seeing on screen is an as it's an interaction between the police and members of the Beetham community earlier today. Many of the residents well, are upset over that police killing this weekend where three persons were killed in Mova on Saturday. Now, just to give you some of the areas that we understand that there are protests taking place. Laventil, Mova Junction, Besson Street and East Port of Spain near Abattoir Road, and of course along the Beetham Highway. But the Minister of National Security have assured, has assured that the police officers, the fire service, the defense force are all out in um, attempting to maintain peace and as well to clear the road rocks because we have seen several instances of the roads being blocked, um, debris being lit of fire. Um, so the fire service is dealing with the fires and the police officers and others are attempting to clear the roadways to allow the free flow of traffic. Just to remind you that the Minister of National Security has confirmed that two investigations are currently taking place. He said that he is, um, he has asked that they be thorough investigations. The police and the Police Complaints Authority are both conducting investigations into the um, killing of three people in MOVA on Saturday. Okay, so there we have the Minister of National Security just spoke to us um, concerning what is happening with the protests throughout the East Port of Spain and environs. Of course, you can continue to stay here, right here on TTT and Talk City 91.1 FM and on Facebook at TTT Live Online to get the updates on that developing situation. And of course, you can stay right here at the top of the hour. In just about seven minutes, we'll have the news at noon. News happens anytime. Beyond the Tape will be back after these messages.